Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while, but in my last video with the fishing reel, my Abu Garcia Revo S, I told you I was probably going to get a Revo SX. Um, I found a really good deal on an STX, so I went ahead and bought it instead of the SX. Um, sorry, that was my phone. I did get the super high speed model so it is the 8 to 1 gear ratio reels in I believe 33 inches of line per turn of the handle um, I guess I can do a comparison video with my Revo S and then mainly talk about this reel main difference is this one has a different braking system and it's a lot lighter. This is a Generation 3, whereas my Revo S is either a Generation 1 or 2, I'm not for sure. I think a 1 actually. Um, so yeah, Generation 3. This thing weighs, I believe, 6.35 ounces. I got the box actually. Yep, 6.35 ounces right there. And it does bring in 33 inches of line with the 11 ball bearings. Um, yeah, right now I just have 15 pound mono on this, but I'm probably going to put 50 pound braid just because I can't really do anything else except work top water because it's so fast. Unless I did do um, finesse fishing or something like that, but I'll probably just put braid. So. The braking system, it has, I'm not sure what they call it, if it's the Infini, but it has, wait a second, I gotta put this on. It does have a magnetic brake and a centrifugal brake. So it's got a dual braking system. Really, I only have two centrifugal brakes on, and I don't even have to use the magnetic brake unless I'm going to throw into the wind, but I haven't really had that problem yet. Then the Revo S. I don't know if I'll be able to unscrew that with my hand. I can't right now because I, I screwed it on pretty tight. But, it just has a centrifugal brake, the Revo S does, and it is not the centrifugal brake with the pitching brake and then your normal centrifugal brake. It's just the straight up centrifugal brake. If you want to know more about this reel, just go to my other video on it. So, yeah, this reel is a lot smaller. You can notice as soon as you pick it up, comparing it to that, the difference is pretty big. Whether I, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, because these are my only two bait casting reels, so I always take these two, and then I'll switch over. I think I like this one, it feels like the reel isn't even on the rod, and then I go over to this, and it's like, ooh, I kind of like this because I can actually feel the reel and I just have seven foot medium heavy rods no split grip just um, cheap $40 rods that you can get at Walmart just because I I just mostly fish farm ponds but this reel the Revo S feels like it casts smoother and a little bit further than the STX one reason I think that is, or the main reason I think that is, is because this reel is actually balanced on the rod, whereas this reel is so light, it, I think I need to get like a Fenwick HMX or like a St. Croix Mojo Bass because of the split grip in the back to balance it out a lot more because it is just so light, it doesn't feel like it's really on the rod. Another big difference between these two reels is the handles. 
This one's a lot, well, yeah, the handles and the grips. This is just your rubber grips. And the handle is just a straight handle. And this handle is a lot shorter. It's bent. And it has these uh, foam handles, which I really like the foam handles. And then I, I don't dislike these handles at all. So I was going to get the foam handles for this reel. But I'm really indecisive because I believe they're $25. If they were only like 5 or 10 bucks, I would definitely have them. But these aren't bad. But I do like these a lot. Um, this, yeah, like I said, this reel is a lot faster. 8 to, eight to 1 gear ratio and then 6 4 to 1. So, yeah. Here it is. It's got chrome. Well, I believe it's plastic. I can't tell, but it's got a chrome finish. And this is just like matte silver. So, I don't know if I'm going to get another bait cast reel for a while. If I do, it'll probably just be another Abu Garcia. Maybe a quantum. My brother got a quantum smoke and it feels really good. And it casts really good too. So if I do switch from a Booger C, it'd be to the quantum. Oh, by the way, this reel retails for $200. And I picked it up brand new for $155 free shipping, no tax on eBay from BigFishSports.com, which is on eBay. So it, I got a really good deal on it. Whereas paying $130 for a Revo SX, paying $25 more was definitely worth it because you get the, a little bit better braking system. Um, I'm probably going to make another video tonight about some frogs, so see you guys later.